What's up, guys? Welcome back. Chunky Rich here, Louie, Walter. Today's discussion, Yu-Gi-Oh! ban list. So, oh, yeah, there's a ban list coming up. So, uh, ban list season is coming up. Uh, they just recently hit cards like what they hit, what they hit, uh, Level Eater. They hit Double Irish Magician for all you Pendulum players. You guys can kiss my ass. Profound Pile, Skull Bat Joker. <laughs> Skull Crow Bat Joker. Uh, but yeah, uh, we're, I guess today's discussion, the whole point is what do we want on the list? What do we want to be off the list? And maybe some predictions down the line as well, what things that should get hit or need to get hit. What do you think, yeah, what do you think needs to be on the list from your... <sighs> Any, well, honestly, right now, one card that really comes to mind is for is uh, Overtext Coatlas. Mm -hmm. For all you guys that don't know, it is uh, that new Dino support card. And I have a buddy, he plays Light Swarms, if he's watching, you know who he is. But, um, you know who you are. You know who you are, you bastard. But um, but yeah, that card is it's it's just way too free, man. Because he runs it in Light Swarms, yeah. and the card of, of Koalas, if you don't know, as soon as it hits the grade, you get it to search a free Ultra Evolution pill, which for you guys don't know what that does, it basically either gets you a free Ultimate Conductor Tyranno or another uh, Overtex Koalas, which are two, both of them can be pretty oppressive cards, especially Ultimate Conductor Tyranno. I was actually watching, like, you know, I'm pretty sure you do too, or, you know, your free time. I was watching, like, you know, Yu-Gi-Oh! replays and duels, and people actually run an engine. That's what I'm saying, yeah. It's, it's Oberaptor, it's, uh, what's the name of it? Overtex, Coatlas, Double Evolution, Evolution Pill, and, and Ultimate Conductor Tyranno. Exactly. Tyrant. This, you, can, you can put that in anything, Literally. and it works. Like, Perfect. that's crazy to me. Like, it works. Perfect. It's like, crazy to me. It's crazy how, because to me, like, and once again, going back to the life swarms, like I feel like with that kind of deck that it just sends yeah. you up to the grave, and that's how they generate advantage and get their effects off. Exactly. But then on top of that, they would get, they would end up with boards like you know, um, the new curious, uh, the new life swarm monster like, curious. Yeah, yeah. The you can end up with a Minerva. You can end up with a, a fairy tale snow and grave, which I'm gonna get to soon. Uh, we can end up with. Um, Giant Rex, another card easily for them to ban. They can just Banish generate a bandage so easily, and then on top of that, end up with an ultimate conductor Tyranno, yeah. which is like literally one of the most oppressive monsters <laughs> to ever come out in this game. Bro. Right. Like this, this card is too nasty. It's not, it's not topping or anything, but I think Koala, yeah. since he he allows you to bring it out so easily, he needs to be regulated. Yeah, I think he should be the one. Because he's just at three, like it's just way too easy. Because the way that the light Isn't he too, when he's on board, he gives you a free negation, a free know? spell or trap negation. Hey, so I was just like, come on, bro! Like <laughs> you just you got yourself out here for free, and not only that, you get to search the card. Like if you get another, if you mill another one, you yeah. get another search. So I just think at least Koalas, because he's the one who kind of enables you to search. Yeah. So I feel like he should be limited to one. That's just me. Uh, and I don't know. What well, for me, what I would definitely want, um, if it's not outright banned, maybe just to one would be scapegoat, because that's a literally a one card, you know, barrel of dragon. I think that you know, as long as I've been playing Yu-Gi-Oh, uh, when when you have one card that can give you like a beefy monster, you know, like especially something like scapegoat, that I think again nobody ever like had the intention of scapegoat being as powerful as it is. But still, now that we have links. And now the whole idea of the game was to slow it down. I would say yeah, that it's worked, opposite. but scapegoat is kind of like the perfect example as to why it hasn't been slowed down yet. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Imagine if you won three of these things. Three yeah. of the things. Three. Of the things. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, like I think scapegoat should definitely, you know, I think one is fair. If not all right, just 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 agree. just ban it. You know. I think one is fair because because I'm not gonna lie, running three just by flipping scapegoat yeah. face up on the end of your opponent, it's really not in itself inherently powerful, mm -hmm. but like you said, what it leads to. Yeah. And it can lead you to a free Borlo, a free Firewall, yep. free Top of Logic, whatever you want, like mm -hmm. free Link Four. Mm -hmm. And it's it's and exactly like imagine if they keep coming up with more generic Link Four. Exactly. Scapegoat is gonna lead to like it's gonna be uh, if it's not already. It's probably gonna be a staple in every single deck that probably runs links. I run a for sure, for I sure. Run a scapegoat yeah, I have a scapegoat so, too because so I, it's, it's, to me it's one of the OG cards. It's, yeah, I yeah. love it for that. But it's yeah. true. Like if you want to like have a really good card in your deck and you want to get to high link plays or link climb, scapegoat. That's your go-to right there. Consider that if um, you haven't already. Another thing too that I I don't know if it should be outright hit or, um, or banned. I mean, or just limited is a uh, Astrograph Sorcerer, mm -hmm. only because again when it works in conjunction with Electromite. It can lead to such, you know, uh, busted play, busted, <laughs> an advantage. Like, I don't know. To me, I think that. I, to me, I, sorry. No, 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 no go ahead, you go. Just like, to me, that mechanic in itself is already pendulums. 
yeah, pendulums, they're already really overpowered. With because just they get a pendulum summoning on its own. All you need is two scales. And yeah, Link Summoning did hurt it a little bit, but obviously not as hard as yeah. people want because they're still making top cuts. Pendulum Magician is still the most popular deck. Like and cards like like Pendulum, they're just so they're too free. Yeah. You know, they, the cards don't go to your graveyard, they go to your extra deck. And if you have scales, you can just keep pendulum yeah. summoning every turn, same effects, search this, pop that. It's, it's just they yeah. generate advantage too yeah. unfairly, if you yeah. ask me. Yeah, compared to the other, you know, like decks, uh, probably in the ever in the history of Yu Gi Oh! Like uh, pendulums, and probably more specific, like when Astrograph and Electromite, you know, pop it, you search it, you summon it, you get to another search. There's no deck, and you really, it's hard for you to point out to another deck, and you know, currently that where everybody's playing, that can do that. Yeah. With such ease, with the greatest of ease. <laughs> man, I swear. <laughs> I keep everything deep for you. Shout outs to. But man, those clips are good. Yeah. I love those. Yeah, but yeah, yeah. Good ones. Um, I don't know. Do you want anything else that you maybe want to come off the list? You um, want to go into that a little bit? Well, actually, you know or what? Or do you want to talk a little bit? Let's go back to yeah, uh, what I want on the list. Fair, fair, fair. I know you want exactly. to talk about it. Go ahead. I got you. That stank bitch. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, yeah, Fairy Tale Snow, man. I hate this card with a passion. Like, that is another card in Light Swarms that could be easily abused. Like, so easy. Like, as soon as you mill it, you're like. You, your face is just like utter elation. Like, yeah. yeah and it's at three. It's at three. She's not once per turn. Nope. You can banish seven, you, and you're banishing things that will get you advantage. You're gonna yeah. banish your uh, giant Rex. You're gonna banish your Spirit Master if you guys are running the Zombie Shiro. Engine. Your Shiro New Spirit Master. You can pop something. You're banishing Necro Face. Anything that gives you advantage. And then not on top of that, you, you're getting her on board. And that's not the end of it. When she's on board, she gets to target something and mm -hmm. put it face down in defense. In defense, like a, a built-in Book of Moon. Yeah. And and not only that, she's a level four. Yeah. Easily ranked fours. And she's 1850, and I know it doesn't sound too good, but that little 50, it makes such a difference. Like, she can get over some things that, like, you know, with just, like, that little 50, it, it doesn't seem like a lot, but it, it really helps her out. Like, it just goes to show how much of an overpowered car she is, at least in my opinion. Because so just the fact that she's not once per turn, yeah. and you're banishing things, and, like, you're just... Literally, if your opponent, all they have is their normal summon, and you have a fairy tale snow in, in your grave, if your opponent normal summons a Predator Plant uh, or for Scorpio to, to try, start his combo, fairy tale snow, put it face down. What are you gonna do? Yeah. What are you gonna do? I mean, unless you don't have a special summon or something, your turn is kind of over. Yeah. You know? So it's like. Yeah, fairy tale snow, I think, is pretty broken. Like, she's, she's way too busted, in my opinion. She needs to be either at one or gone. Like, I've, I've had enough of that card. <laughs> <laughs> so, but yeah. Um, as to things that I want to come off the list, uh, I, 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 I like some of these old school cards. Yeah, like, I'm glad they got they got Monster Reborn back Monster to Reborn. one. It feels so good. Solemn Judgment. Say, Solemn Judgment. It feels so good to me to say Monster Reborn in 2018. Like, Monster Reborn it just takes me all the way back. But as for cards that I want to come off, I wouldn't mind seeing Heavy Storm at one. Heavy Storm. Heavy Storm at one, I think. Back. Just to like punish those freaking trick star players, just to sit back row. <laughs> Heavy Storm. Or those people, even like myself, I play Dark Magician. That would be a, like super. You can't really overextend. Yeah. You would have to really think about how many cards you want to set and stuff like that. But yeah, heavy storm. I think it was. Yeah, and, it's all, it's, and it's also fair too, because remember, you're also hitting your own back row. Exactly. So it's not like. But even know, though we all know nobody's gonna use it like that. Like, I mean, you never know. What if you draw into it? And true. True. You know, like you. If you they, have no choice. Yeah. yeah. Then you might, because what if like they might have like a mirror force, so they might have something down there. You know, a solemn, yeah. or whatever it is. You know, sometimes you might want to risk it. Yeah. Because again, nowadays, when I think when Heavy Storm was hit, it was because there really there wasn't much interaction with anything yeah. else except the field. But now you have, you know, you can set up your graveyard. You can have a good hand if you're running pendulums. You could have your extra deck set up. So I think it would be a very good, like I don't know, like a, yeah, good, actually, a good tech card, man. And it would hurt in certain, as certain well decks. Too, yeah. yeah. Yeah, I would love to see Heavy Storm back up. Um, you might. I don't know how you feel about this, but I was. I also want some of the Zodiac. Uh, Broad Bull and Dryden to come off the list. Oh, really? I know, I know, Zodiac is, is is. I think me personally, Zodiac is already like past its prime. Really? Even even if even if they were to, even if they were to like you know uh, bring back Broad Bull or Dryden to one, even just to one, I don't think it would make such a significance. Yeah, because what else did they hit in that deck? They hit? Did they hit Barrage? Did they hit? No, um, Barrage. That, is that all they hit? Dryden and yeah, Dryden and Broad Bull because. Rod Bull was literally searched, you know, and then Dryden was literally like... free pop. Yeah, you can pop whatever the hell you wanted to, but yeah. I think nowadays, like, 
I don't. I, I mean, personally, I, I couldn't foresee you know Zuria because again, you have Master Rule Four, and you have, I think you would have it would slow it down. I think that's one of those few decks that was slowed down, mm -hmm. and, you know, and until perhaps they make more Link monsters or something like but that. Again, to, to, at least to me, where I would counter that is mm -hmm. fact, slow down the fact that we are like we said talking about card we were talking about earlier, Skateco. That's yeah. at three. So if you flip a Skateco, that's a free Mrs. Radiant. Yeah. Right, you guys little yeah. She's generic as yeah. hell. Two two Earth tokens. Yeah. Oh, um, the other one too that was hit. I just remember that you mentioned that it was Raptor. 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 Yeah. Yeah. And I think that that I think that one should probably stay uh, at one. Probably at one. Okay. I think a one would be and take the other ones off. Just leave my one. Yeah. And the other one too that I would want to see come off is uh Man Specter Unicorn Kieran. Oh no. And oh, just a one. Uh, to just one? one. I mean okay, one I just guess. Just a one. one. Just one. a one. Let's okay, just, one. The thing is I wish they would like take it off and put it back on. You know what I'm saying? Like just to try give it. some time off and you know, see how it goes. But yeah, that's for me, that's what I would want. To off. me that's another one of those like really oppressive it, it would be like fairy tale snow basically yeah it's that, and the worst like uh, the only difference in being it goes to your hand yeah so people could also abuse that yeah, yeah I can see, I can see that's what i'm saying like even to one sounds like annoying it, it, do they have a way to search it because if they can search it then that's where it becomes an issue i'm trying to remember um i don't know if you have a certain way to search it then okay whatever mm, like, no, I don't, I'm, I'm not sure if there's a way to search it i have to look into it. it's been a while it's my point yeah. I, I think a lot of people forgot about magic spectator care yeah. and the pain yeah. it was but i think maybe not me no, <laughs> <laughs> no, nah, nah, that's the only that's the only that gave me the things I would want. Okay. What about you? Um, there's some more cards I would like. Uh, you personally, that you play, that you have. Me know. personally, I would like uh, Pot of Greed. Mm -hmm. I know some people are not gonna like that, but I think first of all, you would have to eradicate eradicate it to be once per turn because it's as it stands, it's not once per turn. Yeah. But I wouldn't mind the once per turn Pot of Greed. It's just yeah. literally a plus one. But the thing is, if that were even to come back to one, everybody's running that thing. Yeah. It doesn't matter who, what deck you're playing, unless you're an idiot, like you're gonna run Pot of Greed. Yeah. But even if, even if, I think just that one, because we got Pot of Desires, yeah, you have to banish him, but it's the same thing almost, except you're not banishing 10, so. I just think Pot of Greed at one wouldn't be as bad as some people might yeah. think it is, like at one, and errated to be once per turn. But and some other cards like Snatch Steel. I've always loved Snatch Steel. Oh, I always, like, always, I always like, like taking your opponent's too. stuff and like. Yeah, there's plenty of this is like mind control. My, no, mind control. Is it off? Yeah, mind control off. Is that three yeah, now? Yeah, yeah, mind control. That three. That's what I'm saying. Like if we have mind control. Right? I think they can give us Snatch Steel or something. And I don't know if they would eradicate it because I think could, could you attack with the Snatch Steel monster? Yeah. Okay, then that's where it's. The, the only win. thing is that they would get like a stack. They would get a thousand. You would gain a stack, but even then, you're not letting that thing stay on board for them to gain a stack. So. And even today, actually, now with Link Summoning, it would still be really good. Right. But uh, so also, what? another one, Premature Burial. Premature like, burial. you know, we got Monster Reborn at one. Uh, I don't... Premature Burial is, is a, a quick card. It has to stay on the field, so it makes it vulnerable. I think at one would be okay, too. I but think, uh, like, any other thoughts? Anything? Actually, no. I think, the for me, for the most part right now, like, the, the ban list, and Yu-Gi-Oh as a whole is actually pretty fun. Yeah, like, I right know. now is like the most fun I've had in a couple of years. I agree, dude. I agree. <laughs> the it's game right now is really fun. Yeah, the game like, really you know, fun. I think people, a lot of people drop it, but if you want to get back into Yu-Gi-Oh, I think right now it's Yu-Gi-Oh season. No time like the present. And you know what time it is, right? Wow. It's time to do. Time to do 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 do. But uh, let us know what you guys want yeah, off the ban list. On the ban list, give us your opinions, give us your feedback. Like, comment, subscribe. Stay chunky.